Hello, Epic Arakas are here and I'm ready to get screwed up by the fucking cave. I don't know why I offered to play horror games. Okay. How about werewolves are a whole thing? They plant, they were just like, you know what's going to fuck these guys up? Fucking darkness. Alright. This might be the end of a cave. I don't think I can get up there. Okay. I'm, I'm fine with that. That means I don't have to go up. Okay. I'm sorry I let you guys on. <laughs> Why are the werewolves getting louder? I think that might be the bridge. Okay. Okay. I didn't die. these noises mean? Nothing even happens, I just get scared because bugs fly in my face and ice. And sometimes big burning demons that are figments of your imagination. Is there a tree up in, on the top of that hill? I want to look at that thing. What's the point of zooming out if it's going to blur out the things that are further away? If you get out one more time, I'm going to slit your fucking neck. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. 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 Up. Is it a bridge? Or is it ice? That's a rock. Mysterious lights above Svobny Cosmodrome. Mysterious events in the sky were noted during the night of 4th to the 5th of July. Witnesses testify they've seen a bright orange sphere which had crossed the sky above the city several times, moving chaotically and immediately changing its direction of flight. Finally, it stopped and disappeared. Major Gierka 
an aviation professional confirms it is impossible for any flying object we know to move like that. Military and Cosmodrome's personnel answered our questions in a short and firm way by distancing themselves to the event, informing there was no activity in that area, as well as there were no test tests performed. I always get freaked out by shadows when it's a silent part in the game. Did you ever get that? I get that. I get that a lot. Like a lot. Too much. See, I want to be moving to a big location I haven't been before without going into a cave. I think you figured out. Look, a cave. Nah. I don't think it's a cave, it was just like a little downstairs pathway. I could have gone either way, but... I... So I get scared with that noise because I have a really... big feeling. It means I'm close to an enemy. Like, it seems to get really strong when I'm somewhere that could easily house lots of enemies. Enemies? I, can, I don't know, scary things. What do you want me to call them? I should walk, like, look in front of me. It's a rock. There's one thing about it, like, see those dark spots? They're well... It, it plays my, it plays tricks with your mind, you know? Finally here. We met a group of Mansi people. They have weird tools. I think they're for hunting. We've also encountered local hospitality when we were not allowed to enter the railway station because we were singing too loud. But we received a very warm welcome from the local school. We had a bit of time, so we met with the students and told them about our expedition. When we reached another station, some drunk accused us of stealing his wallet. Police got involved, but luckily, after some explanations, the whole thing got sorted out. We spent the whole night in the train speaking about love, religion, politics. When we felt tired, we went to bed, but since the compartments were not closed, we decided to keep watch and switched every couple of hours. There are moments when I doubt whether we are ready for such an expedition. Disturbing thoughts are haunting me. Maybe we misjudged our capabilities. Others say we'll make it, but I'm afraid. I have a bad feeling about this. As if a shadow of fear was breathing down my neck. I cannot explain this. It's time to take a nap. <sighs> okay. Um, I'm gonna end here. Uh, I have a really... I have that same shadow of fear breathing down my neck that I'm gonna get screwed over as soon as I turn this book... Like, put this book... Uh, no, put this book back in my backpack, I suppose. So, Epic Arcacy out. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.